con l'Italia. Ci troviamo con Vettel e Christiansen, siamo in quel di Passi Lazzel, all'interno del Dolomiti Apart and Rooms. Uh, I wonder about you now you are Italian. You have Italian passport probably. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask. <laughs> yeah, I told the other guys that uh, I was here for the first time one week or just some days after the roller ski track opened. So uh, <laughs> this has been our kind of uh, second home in the last uh, five years. And I guess uh, the next year as well, we will stay here a lot. But you you uh, arrived here early, before yeah. your... Yeah, me, uh, me Dal, uh, uh, and, and Ida, we chose to have some extra days uh, in the altitude. We wanted to extend the, the camp, uh, as we did the, the last camp when we were in, uh, in uh, Livigno and, and Lenzerheide. We stayed for one more week, so uh, yeah, it worked out quite well, so we wanted to do it now, now as well. So what, what's the, the thing that you prefer in, uh, to, in Italy? It's the, 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 the opportunity for training, <laughs> food uh, or yeah, for weather? Sure, uh, for sure, the food from uh, Milena and her brother. Uh, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's what we look most forward to when we are here. It's the, it's the, it's the food. But uh, for sure, of course, the, the altitude possibilities in this roller ski track. Uh, You could see today how much we were breathing um, uh, into yeah. the into the shooting. So uh, yeah, for us, it's uh, just a mix of several perfect things. I think. I'm asking you about your uh, shape now, but I saw you this morning. And, well, <laughs> <laughs> you go very fast on yeah. the hill. <laughs> yeah, no, the shape is good. Uh, the plan this season was to be a little bit more patient. Uh, not train that much in the beginning of the summer and and try to de delay the shape because i always get in quite good shape like in august september and uh, this year it kind of went naturally with um, covid uh, during summer and then um, one uh, flew now in the in the fall in in september so uh, yeah despite that uh, the shape is good and i think i have saved a lot of power uh into the season so uh, yeah i hope i will uh, have a lot of energy when we start this winter because you need a lot of energy from the south because uh, yeah, you have yeah. a lot of pressure in norway i remember last season i interviewed you after the podium in oslo yeah. in, and in hostersund sorry okay. and i remember you were not happy you have like a sense of relief yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true uh, we put a, a lot of pressure on ourselves and and We know uh, we need to do uh, a lot of good results, not only one, but several. So um, yeah, the, the main feeling after a podium is, is not always happiness, but more kind of relief because, okay, the season is kind of set and, and you can relax a bit more after a good result in the beginning of the season. So um, yeah, for sure, I know I have to be in quite good shape in the beginning of next as well in, in Continental. Because you have a lot of very strong guys in yeah, IBU yeah. Cup, so it, you for have sure. always to perform. I think it's very difficult mentally for a Norwegian. Yeah, yeah it, it is for sure. And, and we know that we are yeah, probably eight, nine guys that can do uh, quite the same results in, in the World Cup. So you just got to be on the, on the right side uh, when the season begins. I uh, read that you participate to a meeting with young people about uh, mental health yeah, or something yeah, yeah. similar. I interviewed Lisa yeah. some days ago and uh, he told me that it's important that people uh, and outlets know that an athlete is not a superhero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have the same problems. So yeah, it's yeah, the same for way. Sure. How much important for you? Yeah, it's, it's very important to like teach the, the young athletes that. Um, To reach the top is not easy, but to stay there is kind of worse. Like uh, it's never an easy day, even if you are one of the best athletes in the world. You have to work the, the shit out of you every day, and, and and there are always someone coming from behind that wants your your spot. Either it's in the IBU Cup or in the World Cup or in the World Championship team. Uh, it's always something to either hunt or, or defend so uh, 
that's something you just you gotta accept and and live with them, and yeah, try to do it in the most calm way as as possible. Don't get uh, too stressed about it. Sorry if I ask you about this, but okay, which your target for next yeah, season? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, next season. <clears throat> I want to beat Johannes as much as possible, <laughs> <laughs> both in the World World Cup and, and for sure in the World Champs. I think the the track in Lenzerheide suits me, and uh, you know it's altitude, and you never know. But if my preparation is done right, uh, then I think it's possible to to go for the gold. Well, last question: Something good, funny. <laughs> I, I read on your IBU profile your hobbies, okay, football, okay. Yeah, but yeah. one of your hobbies is entertaining my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's plain. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, try to, to live and um, live a funny life outside Biathlon to uh, and you know, like don't take myself too seriously and, um, and not try to be funny, but be a bit uh, relaxed and then and then I get into this kind of um, entertaining role with uh, all of my my friends and the people around me and uh, I don't take myself too seriously and I think uh, they think it's um, a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you so much.